Sheila Ibanks. I am a dance artist, a dance educator, a choreographer, a womanist, um, and I am happy to be alive in 2020. Um, I make work that, I like to say my work moves minds. Um, I move minds in the classroom, in the studio, as well as on stage, and I really love to be able to actually choreograph, shape bodies, shape space, shape ideas, and have people thinking when they leave the theatre. I started dancing when I was about four years old, um, and I actually began dancing because my legs were very turned in, so I could walk, I could run, but my mother was really concerned about my future, I don't know. So um, the doctor was suggesting, instead of getting my legs broken, which was the treatment at the time, that um, she involved me in something like dance because dance always works on the outer rotation of the legs. And so I've been dancing literally ever since I was four years old. I am a body advocate. I, the body is an intelligent being in and of itself. I believe our world is very, very separate and divided from understanding and listening to body um, in as much as we're separate from understanding and listening to nature one and the same thing and you know the troubles we are in right now because of that so I think a return to body is actually going to be a very good thing um, in these 2020s and I encourage anyone who wants to move to dance to get physical get back in touch with your breath get back in touch with your your actual your muscles your bones um, whether you take a dance class or you just continue to dance at home it's not something else that you do movement is you Movement is what signals life inside of you, electrical impulses moving. Even if you are somebody who doesn't move muscles, your mind is moving. And so um, I'd like to see us becoming healthier, um, more embodied, more connected, and more respectful of the arts also. The arts teach you how to be a better human. The arts teach you how to respect your own self, internally and body-wise, and other people. Um, when children learn to dance from an early age, it's not just a physical psychomotor thing. They learn about emotional intelligence. They learn about psychomotor stuff, yes, but they really learn about cognitive intelligence as well. Thinking improves, particularly mathematical thinking, interestingly. Dance, for me, is one of the more complete arts, if not the, the most complete art I know I will get up high for. Um, in that it involves everything. It involves color, shape, um, movement, dynamics, and so, um, we are really, really committed to people understanding embodiment as well as seeing art everywhere. We really like to make connections between all art forms. Um, we've travelled and performed, travelled and done workshops in Trinidad, in Denmark. And I say we, even though sometimes it's just me because it's a consciousness. Um, I had a mentor, Howard Daly, who said Jamaica doesn't need another dance company, it needs a dance consciousness. And so we hope to be, or to continue to be, that dance consciousness for Jamaica.